Hey guys, it is Scott the Steen Roller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It's Saturday, the 26th of November. This is your play of the day. Before we get to the play of the day, if you guys would be so kind, take a minute, smash that like button, give us the thumbs up. Always appreciate the effort. And of course, get subscribed to the Winners and Winners YouTube channel. Click, click the bell, that way you get notified every time we put up brand new content. And of course, speaking of great content, we want to know what you're playing today. What games are you on? Put those plays in the comment section. You get them right, you make a profit. We'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right. You could be the capper of the day. And you want to aim a little higher. You want to try for capper of the week, the best of the best for seven days straight. Simply put a BB beside your favorite play, designating it as your best bet in the comment section. Put the odds in there if it's not minus 110. And uh, let me know how we grade it. We'll tally it up uh, at the end of the seven day period, which ends Sunday night. We'll find out who the cow is, who is the capper of the week. So, without further ado, let's check in on uh, yesterday's action. We did have the Nebraska Iowa under 38. Yeah. Jeez. Well, if you ever wondered uh, who is uh, so bad that they couldn't beat out Spencer Petras for quarterback, uh, we found out as that uh, did not go well for us. Uh, four turnovers. Four turnovers. I don't know how many of them were in. Uh, Iowa territory, at least two. I think I think all three of the fumbles were in Iowa territory. Gave Nebraska a short field, and they hit the bomb over the top. Iowa defense didn't look great, but uh, my God, that offense, even worse than usual with the turnovers and whatnot. So, you know what? You turn over the ball that much, especially where where they did it, you just you just don't have a chance to hit the over or hit the under. Frankly, we were lucky to get, a close, get as close as we did, but uh, – yeah, not great. Um, as far as premium goes, last couple of days we go five and one. Yesterday on Thursday, hit all of our uh, you know Thursday. Sorry, I'm still recording Friday night. Uh, on Thursday we go five and one on the premium side. Hit all of our NFL plays and our best bet. Uh, not quite as good here today. We go four and five premiums. Uh, miss our best bet. We had UCLA minus eleven over Cal, California. Uh, hit some nice dogs though in the. Uh, uh, in the run, we had Mizzou plus three and a half. We had St. Bonaventure. I uh, had the Cavs, uh, Milwaukee. That one did not work out. So uh, 10 and six over those two days, 62 and a half percent. You know what? We'll take it. Um, and guys, we have run a great deal here on the uh, on the premium side for the Black Friday special. I had a great Black Friday special yesterday where we were giving away best bets for five bucks. We do not have that going on anymore. However, uh, we do have some killer deals uh, as far as our monthly passes goes. Uh, $49 for a, a one month, uh, football or a basketball package. That is uh, normally two ninety nine for the month and, uh, two forty nine for basketball, sorry, two ninety nine for football. And we've got the all sport one month pass is $79. That's normally four fifty four forty nine is what that normally is guys. And, uh, $99, like I said, the, uh, football passes as well. So, uh, yeah, check that out. I'll drop the link in the uh, description of the video. It's uh, just basically go to the Winners and Winers page if you don't if you don't see the link. Just go to the Winners and Winers page. It's a banner right across the top, and we're running the special all weekend. So make sure you get down on that. I can guarantee you, uh, not going to see prices lower than that as far as so. If you've been thinking about pulling the trigger, but the price is uh, just a little bit more than you're comfortable with, uh, maybe that's uh, you're not a big enough player to make it profitable. There you go. Did a little something for you. So. Uh, Guys, get down on that. And uh, yeah, there you go. Let's take a look, see what we got cooked up for today. Uh, it's gonna be a uh, gonna be a bit of a homer play. No! Oh! Um, we're gonna take my uh, my Kansas State Wildcats at home in the little apple minus 12 over the KU Jayhawks. Rock chalk, not today, baby. Uh, the cats have dominated this series here lately. They're 13 and 0, straight up 10 and 3 against the numbers since 2009. Uh, they have won the last three in this set by a, a, a average of 29 points per game. And uh, KU, after having a great start, the uh, wheels have really come off, especially the defense. Uh, they have been getting uh, gashed on the ground. You know, 427 to Texas last week because they lost 55-14. Uh, they've given up uh, uh, about a little over 300 yards per game on the ground the last four, and that's uh, not a good thing to be doing against this K-State defense that can still, despite the fact that Martinez won't be playing, can still run the ball with the best of them with Deuce McAllister. And the part that Martinez not starting has puts in Will Howard, and he looks so much better than he did last year. I know I've talked about this before, 
but he gives this team a dimension that they not, did not have early in the season, and that is a downfield passing attack. Um, of course, the run game is still strong. I think they're going to have a field day against this KU def- defense. Deuce Vaughn has been a Jayhawks killer. He had 162 yards uh, on the ground last year in just 11 carries and also had uh, caught four passes for 81 yards and a TD. So that's a uh, that's uh what, what do you uh, excuse me 70 last year. That's 232 if you're scoring at home. He went for 152 in his freshman season combined. Uh, Jayhawks defense, uh, like I said, they've uh, struggled mightily after their big start. They are 127th in total defense, 118th against the run, and they have been even worse on the road where they've given up 40. Point four points per game. Uh, Jalen Daniels is back. They, KU may be able to put a, a couple of scores together, but I don't think they're going to be able to win this one. Uh, I think it's going to be a bit of a track meet. I think there's going to be some points scored, and I think at the end of the at the end of the day, K State will be just too much for them as they uh, look to qualify for the Big Twelve Championship game. Now that Texas won, they need this victory. I think they get it. It's in Manhattan. They're not picking their foot off the gas. Uh, give me the Kansas State uh, Wildcats minus the 12. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, we've got a couple days of results to make up for on Capper of the Day. Uh, for the Thursday games, uh, excuse me, guys. Uh, Justin McElvey goes a 1-0 plus 500. Thomas Bow 1-0 plus 500. Brandon Zerfus going to 1-0 plus 525. And a Bronco Devil. There you go. 1-0 plus 1180. And a two-teamer paid plus 236. Hey, Bronco Devil. Congratulations. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Well done to you. And as far as Friday goes, Justin McElvey right back in there going 1-0 plus 500. Had two lane minus 107. The Aardvark. 3-1 plus 190. Time Traveler. Faded me. Faded me. Uh, He said I was going to explode for points. Uh, Nope. Right result, wrong reason, doesn't matter. Tickets cash all the same, and we've certainly all had our share of those. He goes 1-0 plus 500. Corey Graves, 1-0 plus 500, had Rockets plus 7.5. But your capper of the day, you know him, you love him. It's Brandon Zerfus, everybody. He had uh, M-I-Z-Z-O-U, the Missouri Tigers, at plus 140, as they became bowl eligible with a nice upset over Arkansas. But he had them on the money line at plus 140. That's how you get to 1-0 plus 700. Hey, Brandon Zerfus, congratulations, my friend, because you are the capper of the day. Well done to you, and uh, well done to anybody else that made money over the last couple of days, as well as uh, gorging on turkey and pie. Congratulations. And now, as far as the capper of the week contest goes, uh, what should come as no surprise to anybody, Brandon Zerfus, out to a lead, 435, Justin McElvey at 300. There's a three-way, or excuse me, a two-way tie for third. Between Bronco Devil and Zewa Carter at plus 200. A couple other guys in the black, so it really is uh, an opportunity for a, a couple other people. Uh, Stuart Ardvark got behind at one, not too far behind at 190. So let's go out there and make some money. We've got, uh, got two days left, left, time to make some hay, all right? Guys, thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Did, I really do hope everybody had a great holiday season, and I hope you have a great holiday weekend. Let's just uh, enjoy the hell out of it. Got some football on, rivalry weekend. Got to make some money, all right? You know, I'll be back tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel, as we uh, do our very best to put together that pick after our uh, little dip here. Long winning streak, little dip. Time for that shit to end. Let's start another winning streak right now. Uh, I'm going to be doing my best to find that play to help us all head back to the window. You guys have a great night. Have a great day. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.